Our next speaker is Edwin Pehopo. He is he was a recipient of the Prime Minister Pacific Youth Award in the inspirational category 2013. Born in New Zealand, Edwin strongly believes in the importance of maintaining a sense of Tongan identity. With a bachelor degree in social sciences and criminology, Edmund has completed a master's degree in social sciences at Auckland University of Technology and is going to present at an international conference on multiculturalism, conflict and belonging in, Lon in London at Oxford University starting next week. May you please give a round of applause for Edmund Taylor. One day, his children will grow up in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of the character. My mother had a dream that one day her children will grow up in a nation where they will seek better opportunities in education and employment. My grandparents had a dream that one day their grandchildren will grow up in a nation where they will stay true to their roots and their culture. Today, the yeah, Right Honourable John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, we make that dream come true. Me a fara off way at our town way. Totuku Totuku Gloria may have tap. Get to a lamp. Who can find Marie Bonnie? You for a hot water to out. Looking over at Monty Hop. Let him mind me full long Tony, you know, to have a pie, make cotton. Come on at a tool, in Mua, the old Mua. Summa Fota, half of Tonga, Isa, fire for loud. Oh, street, <laughs> Mate my Otua Motonga, a hot of the Aia. So it's right honorable John Key. Honorable Pesata Seno Tulina, Alfinaro, Misa Fitu. If you're here to get our votes, <laughs> then one thing I ask you for remember the tongue. The question is, what do you, Matiaki? 
Your help may have been matter key. And I acknowledge all our, our Fafi House here, our Fafi House, our cultural experts, our senior lecturers, our academics. But maybe me, a person who grew up with nothing, slide in and give you a, a testimony from history. After reading that New Zealand Herald, <laughs> in, in Tottenham history, there's a man by the name of Peter V. In one way, in, in back in the days, Christianity was very hard to convey and persuade the tongues. And there was this one man called Peter V who influenced the tongues. And one way he did that was he influenced the king. Back in the days, one day, Peter V and, and the king sailed to his tropical island in Hapai. <laughs> Sorry, not in we had very made more hours. <laughs> and he had a rest in this very tropical island full of beautiful food and girls. <laughs> and males. <laughs> and Traveled on to this tropical island, the king told Peter B to jump off the boat. And back in the days, this has been told was surrounded by deadly sharks and other sea creatures. Imagine if you were traveling in a, in a boat with the Right Honorable John Key and he told you to jump off the boat. <laughs> It will be after you, sir. <laughs> so, during the travel, Peter V decided, he, Mati Aki, the, the Lord, the true word of God, the God that we pray today, he will do it. He jumped off. And the king sailed on to Kotu Habai and rested there until Peter V swam across. <laughs> At a surprise, the king all of a sudden saw Peter V swim across the shores. And his first Malanga in Bawala, he said these words, and his Bible verse of the days was, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, Aubai Kukakai Kwe Masibai. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 6 talks about my people are being destroyed because of lack of knowledge. What do you, Matiaki? It's awesome that we can come together in Matiaki Yaltonga. But do remember who made us? Who made us Tongan? A man upstairs. And all glory goes to him for making us Tongan, the most beautiful people here in our town. <laughs> If we go to the, to the, to the Bible and acknowledge all our perfect hours here, I, who knows I'm going to be one in the future. Anyway, <laughs> back in the Bible, it talks about Daniel being chucked into the lion's den. And everyone was surprised that this man was chucked into, chucked into the den full of lions. And imagine yourself in a space full of lions walking around. What would you do? Of course you would jump up and down. <laughs> but what did Daniel do? He now, he beat, you know, he was on his knees. <laughs> now, he was on his knees and he prayed to God. Why? Because he might be able to eat his faith. What do you might be able to eat in your youth? It's, it's awesome that we can come together and celebrate our time. Imagine if we all come together in Christ. Has that ever happened once? That all religions come together and celebrate our very far. The challenge is there. The challenge is yours. So, Today, 
We live in a society, we live in a multicultural, cosmopolitan community full of challenges, full of social pressure. For a number of us, we put Tonga first, then our Holy Father. In order for us to have an enjoyable life, we must follow three steps. J, Jesus. O, others, why yourself? You must love Jesus. You must love others. Love yourself. Put Jesus first. A number of us, we put ourselves first. And that's what happens. We will never find our loved one in our life. <laughs> There's a number of us that put others first. And that's the reason why we have a lot of fatality rates as to like what Dr. Kaltoke was saying. Put Jesus first. That is the challenge. We can all come together and celebrate our time. Let's all come together in Christ. Never let my is not the one. Wondering what does a clicking sound you heard? It's to uh, instead of clapping, just to you know, just to show respect, just clap. So yeah. we see our right honourable that's enjoying the South Army.